Hi, this is Amy from the Alt Store. I'm here with Eric from Schneider Electric, and we're going to talk a little bit about when you would use the Schneider SW inverter versus their XW Plus. Hello. Hello, Amy. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. So, um, Schneider's got these two fabulous, similarly sounding <laughs> inverters, the XW and the SW. So give me a feel for the difference between the two and when you would pick one over the other. Well, that's a great question, Amy. And you're right, they sound an awful lot alike and you've got to really be careful over the phone yes. when you're <laughs> um, specifying a particular model. But um, so Connect XW Plus is based on the legacy XW model and it has been known for its reliability yeah and its massive surge capability, which is actually two times its continuous rating, yep. which is very respectable. The Connext SW is for small to average load demand, not a lot of motor loads, mm. because it just doesn't have as large a transformer okay. ratio as the XW Plus. Right. So, Another function that would prefer XW Plus over Connect SW would be cell mode. The Connect mm, SW right. does not have cell capability. However, for its size and for its price range, yeah. I think it's packed with great features Absolutely. such as peak load shaving, smart charging that allows your um, inverter to use an external source. Uh, such as a generator or grid to charge the batteries when they've dropped to one half of nominal. Mm. So as you may or may not know, the XW Plus requires at least 40 volts DC to turn on. Yeah, for That's, the 48, uh, the 48 volt, volt model. Right. right. A Connect SW now will allow you to charge from half of nominal. So that means 12 volts for the 24 volt model and down to 24 volts for the 48 volt model. That's huge, because we get that call a lot. People have uh, left their system alone yeah. over the winter, they come back in the spring, snow had covered the solar panels, right. and their batteries are pretty much dead. Exactly. So being able to bring bring a battery back from practically the brink of death, that's, that's huge. Right, it, it is. And, and the it, SW will do that. Exactly. Nice. The Connect SW is a, that's a feature exclusive to Connect SW, and and I want to add that it's not to imply that it's going to be good for uh, a lead acid chemistry battery to be discharged that deeply, but it does happen. And uh, if they are a, a flooded battery type, just make sure that you check the specific gravity of, mm. of the cells and equalize them to yeah. recover their performance. Right, right. But this is great for some of the newer technologies, the the salt water batteries, the the lithium oh, batteries absolutely. that that let you do a, a very substantial depth of discharge. Exactly. And, and some of the newer technologies, they actually have a fairly high self-discharge rate, so it's not uncommon for, for them to show up fairly low. Exactly. So um, your lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate, mm -hmm. um, your aqueous technologies are all state of, uh, state of charge percentage tolerant where they can be discharged down to zero right. in many cases. Um, so the high discharge rate of a lithium ion, for example, does allow uh, benefits to save in space because of the density. Right. So as you had mentioned, the XW Plus is grid tie connect. So you, you can connect to the, gr to the grid and use it both to charge your batteries and to sell back. Exactly. And the SW uh, can use the grid to, to charge your batteries, but will not sell back. It so will not sell back, but it will peak load shave. Mm -hmm. So anytime you have uh, enough stored energy with solar, it will prioritize that power and limit the draw off the grid. Right. Down to virtually zero. I believe there will be a small draw off the grid just to ensure that it doesn't sell, mm. but it's like uh, the one or 200 watts, so it's very, very minimal. Great, great. So you, uh, you've got the ability to use the grid if it's available, if you need it. That's right. But, but you're really in autonomous mode where exactly. you're just... You're exactly. Just so it d will do self-consumption. If you're generating enough PV, then virtually it will draw nothing off of the grid. Terrific. Another feature I wanted to mention regarding Connect SW is 
um, smart charging when you're AC coupling. Mm. So what that does is it knows when you have excessive PV power flowing back to the grid and it will open up the charging to the batteries only when you have excessive PV. So in other words, you're not going to be charging your battery from grid power. Right. Only with excessive solar in an AC coupled mode. And right. that also is a feature that's exclusive to Connex SW. Right. And, and AC coupling is where you've got, say you've got a grid tie system, you want to add batteries to it later. So you, you would have both a grid tie inverter and an off-grid inverter. And they're talking to each other and the off-grid inverters fooling the grid tie inverter uh, into thinking the grid is up while it's actually disconnected. So we've done some videos on that. So check out our, our videos if you want to see more on AC coupling. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so good. This, this uh, gives us a real nice feel for, for the difference between the two inverters. And, um, and so just to kind of go over the models, what, what are the, the wattage and voltages available? Great question. So Connect SW is available in 24 and 48 volt models. The 24 volt models are 2,500 watts mm -hmm. and 4,000 watts. The 48 volt model is exclusively 4,000 watts. The XW Plus is available in 48 volt models only. Uh, we have a 5,500 watt and a 6800 watt for nice. North America. We nice. have some European models, but we're not going to focus on that today right, since right. we're in America. Um, <laughs> but we do have a very big international crowd. And we might want to mention scalability. So yes. uh, stacking of Connect SW is up to two. Okay. With the XW Plus, we actually have uh, some significant scalability. Mm. When you're putting together a multi-unit system, you can go up to four in single phase. You can go up to 12 in three phase, 12208. Okay. The, the issue is the transfer relay, which is limited to 60 amps. And if you're switching either grid or generator power at more than 60 amps, which is 14.4 kW at okay. 240 volts, then we recommend the use of an external AC contactor mm. to do the switching. And that just protects the relays from excessive wear right. and maybe even welding that relay closed. Right. So um, I'd encourage your customers to go to our website, sesolar.com, under the XW Plus uh, download section. You'll see technical publications, ah. and there you'll find the multi-cluster design guide for you folks that uh, may have a a commercial application yeah. that uh, will incorporate a uh, large number of inverters and right. be switching more than 60 amps. It tells you uh, how to incorporate an external contactor just for that purpose. And uh, we'd love to answer any questions that you have in that regard. Right. And so you mentioned three phase. So to do three phase, uh, XW plus only and one inverter per phase. Exactly, that's a very important point. Yes. Because uh, you, at this time, we're working on it, but at this time, if you have a three phase source and you only have two inverters, it won't qualify. You have to have at least one per phase now. Right. And as you're scaling up, you gotta scale in sets of three. Right. So three, six, nine, or 12. 12. Excellent. Yeah. So uh, we've we've actually seen some really cool cool installations yeah. that are three phase with with. Uh, I know I, I I was involved with the one with nine. So that was that yeah. was a fun They're project. They're out there. Yes. Um, Very so impressive. So terrific. So thank you so much for coming. This was really helpful. My pleasure, Amy. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So um, I hope this was helpful. If so, give us a like and a share, and be sure to subscribe to our Alti Store channel so we'll notify you when we've got new videos coming out. And don't forget to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.